All right, the Marconi monoscope camera from the estate of Richard Scoville, the estate sale, is going to the Early Television Foundation, Early Television Museum. The way I'm going to do this is I'm going to ship him the CRT first because we did confirm this is a 1699. This is a custom CRT, and he's going to pop this CRT into he has the uh, the the museum has the RCA version of this working and he's going to pop it this CRT into that um, the museum's RCA version and he's going to send me a picture of what this tube contains and I'm dying to know what what uh, image is there being a custom tube is it the CBS logo is it some weird CBS test pattern the CBSI is kind of a test pattern in itself is it we don't know what it is we don't know where it came from um, that knowledge is buried deep in the grave right now so we have to figure it out so I'm gonna pull this out pack it up send it separate we're gonna send the rest of this take this to the FedEx store and they're gonna handle the shipping of that I was looking through the garage and I often save packing materials and I was thinking that you know the CRT is a one-time shot I mean this is it if it gets broken I guess if it gets broken we could see what the image is but it's almost a priceless treasure in a way so I'm gonna pack it in this I know it's gonna be expensive it's probably gonna cost me greater than 50 bucks to ship this little thing but this is the way this stuff has to be packed and you can see this is This is a, what, three inch foam all the way around, double boxed with another two and a half inches of packing material. So I'm gonna pull the thing out, I'm gonna wrap it in bubble wrap, get it in here, and then we'll get it shipped out. Okay, so there's the tube wrapped in bubble wrap, no lash. We're gonna cap it with this heavy foam. So here's the tube. Look at this, someone sent this, it's $28 just to send this little box, so how much do you think it's going to be to ship the big box? $55, $80? This is something that was sent to me from Radio TV Phononet. No wonder why it's packed for war. I shipped the CRT today and I shipped it via FedEx because they were the most reasonably priced and I know it sounds like I'm bitching about shipping prices often but I just wanted to share this this is just the CR little CRT in the box it weighed 11 pounds to Columbus Ohio basically from Torrance California and here's what it cost $87 Good news, the CRT made it to the Early Television Foundation and Museum in one piece and uh, Steve popped it in their monoscope and we got a good image here back from it and it's, uh, it's quite incredible. If we look at this, we see this was CBS Network Television from Hollywood which is uh, where the gentleman whose estate this came from would have worked and you can see it's got the bandwidth bars here and it's also got the grayscale starting from black and working its way out and it's got the window circle to set up your deflection so this is quite a cool um, test pattern custom of course and um, I want to thank Steve for for doing this this is really awesome to give this a second life and so people can see this and if you guys are ever in the area stop by and support the ETF uh, and donate to them you know we we need to support organizations in that to keep this old technology alive for the younger generations to see anyway so there it is the image the mystery image from the estate sale uh, Marconi monoscope from the television cameraman, the CBS television cameraman.
There are two images of it here and you can see some almost Morier-like uh, artifacts and smearing in the bandwidth lines as they fan out and that's just common when you take uh, pick any kind of picture of a old low resolution CRT with a modern high resolution digital camera but this would look absolutely brilliant in person. I'll include a link to the ETF's website and there's a lot of resources and interesting stuff on here so if you're into old TVs be sure to check their site out.